dear parents how are you doing especially for the parents that are in nigeria where i am from how are you really truly doing last week i wasn't sure how i was doing but today i am sure i am doing good i'm doing great right and i'm here today to share with us on things to do in with our children this period so we are going through a transition a phase a season in our country and it's our current reality transitions don't come easy on us they shake us they shift us they push us but they also have their advantages at the end of the day they help us to think out of the box they help us to see what can we do better what can we add to what we are doing this period i know most parents will get busier than before so that's why i'm sharing what i want to share with us today i know we're going to get busier because we want to look for money we want to add more to what we're doing we want to keep doing more and more to get more money to pay the bills yes our children will wear lovely clothes our children would eat good food healthy food and on and on like that so how can we pass through this period successfully in our parenting journey the first thing i would suggest is that we call our children especially our children that can understand that are old enough to understand certain things and let them know what is going on let them know our current reality this is what is going on in the country calculate do the math with them i had to do it with my princes i calculated the first two get it the little one he's still not getting it and i calculated and i said okay this is how much we were buying this thing before and this is how much we we're buying it now and you're like wow i'm like yeah so this is what is going on right now so you might want to ask your children to look at it and ask them what do you think what what are the changes that we can introduce in the home how do we ensure we're not wasting things so we, the, the children that we have nowadays we can't just tell them we're not having milk anymore we're not going to eat um cereals anymore we're going to do no you have to explain to them when we explain to them it's easier for them to buy into what we want to suggest sometimes the suggestions might actually come from our children and we'll be amazed at it so you want to ask them that what do you think how do we reduce wastage in the home when one of my princes is washing the dishes he uses so much of dishwasher right now we have to talk to him that you can't just be wasting it you have to use a pea size and show him what pea size really means right so you want to ask them what they think about how we can reduce wastage in the home how we can manage things manage our resources right now right so that's the first thing that we want to do we want to tell our children about it talk to them about it and the second thing we want to do is that we want to ensure that our relationship with our children is still intact this is the time to build our relationship with our children better than before because we have to do extra we have to do more our mental health is also important so we have to get our relationship with our children in a great state so how do we do this have conversations with your children do not criticize them let them finish their statement before you cut in because some parents are used to knowing what a child wants to say and there's nothing wrong in you asking your child what you already know just for them to take that shine for that moment and just tell you what you know and you're like wow you knew that beautiful so just have conversations with your children just chit with them ask them questions about themselves how they are growing what they think about things that's how to have relationship with them connect with them talk 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 with them talk to them that's how you build your relationship with your children get into their world check with them what are the new things you're learning what are the storybooks you're reading right now what is interesting to you what are the things that you're building what are the values that you're you know personally building for yourself you want to ask them questions now because you might not be as available as you used to because of the transition 
that we're actually in right now right so you want to check with that and talk to your children about everything and tell them in case you are very busy because let them know yes you might have down moments sometimes you might just not be in that right space to have those beautiful conversations like they want to tell them things they want to share with us they can write it down write it so that when we come or they can send it to us write it and give it to us when we are more relaxed we can read through and we can know what to do after that and also affirmations are so important right now we want to drag our children into that space of faith faith in god this is the time to show that god exists that there's god somewhere and god answers prayers for those that are christians i want to leave us with a particular scripture that can be very beautiful affirmation for you and your family so it's jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 9 blessed are those who trust in the lord and have made the lord their hope and confidence they are like trees planted along a river bank with roots with roots that reach deep into the water such trees are not bordered by the heat so maybe what we are going through now is heat right this is the nlt version that's the new living translation so it says they are not bordered by the heat or worried by doing or worried by the months the long months of drought their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit so you might just want to dive into this particular um scripture it's jeremiah 17 7 to 9 and you can encourage your children to also read it and it can be an affirmation for you at this season so i am blessed in Allah Dimeji. i care about your parenting journey and i want to believe that you have picked one thing from what we have shared today thank you for listening bye